In this module, we are going to cover how we place cabinets into our design. The cabinets come from a catalogue. Currently we are using NZCAT2 catalogue, which is the default catalogue that comes with 2020. However, you may have your own custom catalogue. The units contained in these catalogues are parametric. Parametric objects are objects that are modelled and defined based on parameters. These parameters can be adjusted. For instance, a base unit can contain one door, two doors, multiple hinges, multiple shelves, etc. These can all be changed through attributes. When we design our room, and if you have a room that is an L shape as illustrated on screen, you would typically start your design with a base corner unit, and we will look to place that in our. Simply move over to the drag and drop area of 2020, double click the base corner unit category. This will provide us with a subcategory of other units to choose from that are all related to base corner units. In this case, we want to cho choose a base corner 90 degree unit. Again, we double click that, and it again gives us a subcategory. In this case, we still want to go for a 90 degree and not perhaps a piano or a pie cut, or one with a lazy Susan or one with bifolds. Once we have double clicked that category you will notice that the descriptions change slightly. These descriptions typically represent information regarding the cabinet. For instance, you will note that we see BC80L. If you look at the scroll bar below you will note that this will scroll along and provide us with further information to the right of the red arrow. When you select a unit you will note that the information box will contain a preview. In this preview we can left mouse button click and rotate the cabinet to view. Again if we right mouse button click in this zone we will change the display function. If we want to scroll through all the cabinets we can either use the scroll bar and that will show us the entire range of 90 degree corner units in this category or we can select it and use the dying arrow on our keyboard and that will also show us a preview. In this case we wish to place a BC90L into our design. You simply left mouse button click and drag it onto screen. You will note that as we get into our placement zone we get a magnet. Typically corner units are set up by default to snap to both walls in a corner. So when I release the mouse, you will note that the base corner unit snaps into place. You will also note that the dimensions will change and have included the length of the unit and the remaining wall space. If we need to place other units in, again it is the same procedure. Obviously we may not want to put another base corner unit in, so to return to the main level we would simply use the scroll bar double click categories and that returns us to the main menu of cabinetry. Again we might want a base unit and in this case I may wish to put in an underbench oven. Again when you select it by double clicking you will go down to the lowest level. As we can see underbench ovens only contains one level so depending on the model that we prefer we can actually select it, view it and I place it. You'll note again depending on the zone that we go into you will get a magnet marker for that particular zone. Once we release in here you'll note that we are getting some information displayed on the screen. This is what we would call snap points. The unit is trying to snap logically to available spaces in the design. In this case you'll note that we are lining up with the midpoint of the back edge of the cabinet to the midpoint of the wall. As we drag it along you will note that that will change. So the snap point is now showing us the right hand edge of the cabinet snapping to the midpoint of the wall. As we push or move our unit along the wall you will now note that it's snapping to the BC90L which we have just placed. Again if we were to pick at this particular point it would snap in without any gap between those two units. 
You'll also note if I keep trying to drag the unit to the left that I can only drag it until it touches the corner unit. One of the benefits of 2020 will allow you not to overlap a base unit with another base unit. Of course if it was a wall unit we would have full range of the wall. In this case I wish to snap this unit to the midpoint of that wall and I have done so. You will again note it will show the width of the unit and the width of the remaining spaces. Again we may wish to place some other base units so instead of going completely back to the categories tab we would simply double click base unit which will provide us back to the base unit selections. Again I might want a standard base unit so I double click that. I will select a right hand base unit but in this case we may want because it's beside an oven we may want a tray unit. So I'll select that. Again you'll note that it's got vertical partitions as opposed to a shelf. Again simply drag and drop. Once we get close and you can see the snap marker highlighted we simply select it and as you can see it attaches itself to the side of that unit. Should we wish to turn the snap off that is a simple process and can be done at the bottom right hand zone of the screen clicking the snap button. We will leave it on for this process. Again we may want to continue on and put maybe a tall end panel and a pantry in this area. To make it easier sometimes we may zoom in our design. As you can see we've just used the zoom region tool. In this case the next unit we are going to place is not part of the base unit category. So we will double click the top categories and now select tall unit. Typically you would place a viewed end or a tall end panel onto your design. Again double clicking each category will allow you to go down to the lowest level. Once you are happy with your selection again just drag and drop on. You will note that tall units are slightly deeper than base units. In this case we wish to have a 800 two-door pantry as you can see again simply drag and drop. Again we'd normally place another viewed end or tall end on this design. To do so we could go back to the category but that is a time consuming process. Because we have already placed a tall end on this design, we'll select it, right click, select duplicate and now we can place the tool end panel on the end of our design as you can see. This is a quick way of getting units placed into your design that you already have. Note that the gap here is 675. Again we may wish to place a base drawer unit in this area so we'll go back to our categories, look at base unit, look at our drawer units. Because it is next to a stove typically we may have a three drawer unit and we will look for a 675 unit. Because we don't have a 675 wide unit what we can do is place the next size up and it will automatically fit into that space. This is the power of 2020 parametric design. It will retain the cabinet's main properties i.e. a base drawer unit and simply drop it into that size. Note it is automatically changed in width to 675 millimeters.